No Adrian Peterson, no Toby Gerhardt, no problem, because the Minnesota Vikings, led by running back Matt Asiata and his three touchdowns, shredded the Eagles by a final score of 48-30 to in the Metrodome. I won't call it a trap game, because the Vikings are much better than their four-win record. They fought hard last week in Baltimore in one of the most exciting games of the year, have lost several games in the final minute, but this time the Eagles couldn't get close enough to strike. And I blame it on Chip Kelly, who's done a masterful job coaching the Eagles this year. It was his decision not to kick the ball to Cordero Patterson under any circumstance on all the kickoffs that I feel led to the Eagles losing this game. You've got to have confidence in your special teams coverage. You can't play afraid. You can't play not to lose, and that's what they did. So when the Eagles finally drew to within five points going into the fourth quarter, what do they do? They give Minnesota the ball back almost at midfield. Minnesota takes the ball down for another touchdown and puts the game out of reach once again. There were some wasted performances in this game. Now, it wasn't the best day for Nick Foles. He was off target on a lot of plays. However, he did throw for over 400 yards, and Deshaun Jackson was the star for the Eagles in this game, putting up 195 yards receiving with 10 catches and a touchdown. The big play, a 51-yard catch where he ran for about 50 yards of it all the way down inside the 5-yard line to lead to the Eagles' final touchdown. Zach Ertz played a nice game. Brent Selleck, the offense really was clicking. Just as I said earlier, Foles was a little off target and they never had enough time of possession, or should I say, possessions in general, because the Eagles' defense couldn't get off the field. In the first half, it looked like that the Eagles were preparing for Adrian Peterson in the running game and weren't prepared for Matt Castle and Greg Jennings going over the top. They were sustaining drives, holding the ball, hitting passes underneath. Matt Castle put on a clinic against the Eagles defense. What could I say? 48 points. They didn't really need to score that last touchdown. They could have kneeled on the ball. The Eagles were out of timeout, so a little bit of running up the score on the Vikings' part. We'll get them back next year. But this is deja vu all over again if you're an Eagles fan, because just a couple of years ago, in 2010, the Eagles were in line for a first or second seed in the NFC when they lost to Minnesota on that Tuesday following a snowstorm on Sunday. Joe Webb went into Lincoln Financial Field and beat them, and they fall into the trap again. Though, I would, like I said, I wouldn't really call it a trap, because Minnesota is much better than their record. They have fought, and they never give up in any game, as last week's game against Baltimore will show. However, the Eagles are still very much in the playoff race, for the, and especially in the NFC East for the title. Right now as we speak, Dallas is hosting Green Bay. Maybe Matt Flynn can make something happen and give this game back to the Eagles by beating the Cowboys. If not, we could be looking at a Week 16 showdown in Dallas for all the marbles. But the Eagles will have to beat the Bears next week to make that a possibility because the tiebreaker goes for the Cowboys. The Eagles really had a chance to grab the bull by the horns and failed to do so. However, they did win five straight going into this loss. You can't win every week. So there you have it. The Minnesota Vikings put up 48 points on that vaunted Philadelphia Eagles defense, which hadn't allowed more than 21 in the past nine games. Elsewhere in the NFL, the Washington Redskins lose by a final score of 27-26 to to the Atlanta Falcons. Kirk Cousins led a valiant comeback and ended up throwing what looked to be the game-tying catch. However, Mike Shanahan rolls the dice and goes for the win on the road. They throw a two-point uh, pass for a two-point conversion attempt and fail. Another, I guess this guy knows he's getting fired. And uh, he said, what the heck? What's win, lose, or get out of here? If they were still in contention, I doubt Mike Shanahan would have made that decision. Griffin III was in street clothes. Obviously, he shut down for the year. The Redskins lose another big game. The New England Patriots after be, have been given a gift as being aligned for the number one seed in the AFC blew it down in Miami. They took the lead and with under two minutes to go Miami gets the ball and ends up driving right down the field for a 24-20 to victory over the Patriots. 
knocking the Patriots right off of that perch. Kansas City is winning in their game that they just started. They'll try to make a run at the Broncos, who did win both their games against the Chiefs. So the playoff races are tightening up. Obviously, New England's going to win the AFC East, but they may not get that number one seed. So there you have it. Redskins lose on a two-point conversion try. Eagles get blown off the field in Minnesota. And the New England Patriots lose possibly their chance to represent the AFC.